Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video I wanted to talk about a question that I have been pondering uh, honestly since I started playing this game. Uh, I didn't really think about making it, a making it into a video until recently, but this is going to be one of the most unanswered questions in Fallout 76, and that's going to be who the actual fuck is Julie, or the person who is the host of Appalachia Radio. Um, I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. This is going to be that annoying bitch who is always talking about her family, whatever, on Appalachia Radio in between those uh, badass songs. And for the most part, uh, through my playthrough of this game, I really never cared too much for Julie, was interested in it, and I actually thought that she was quite annoying. It was really not enjoyable having to hear her voice saying the same like phrases over and over again for the past uh, couple of years playing this game. But uh, it's only been recently, and uh, when, I, when I've kind of been thinking more critically about this game and maybe some of the unanswered questions that it has, that I thought about Julie. Um, I have played this entire game. I know every mission inside and out. I've completed it. You cannot meet her. There is no location you can go to that says, like, this is Appalachia Radio. Um, and uh, I'm only saying that because in the other games, like Fallout 4 and Fallout 3, you could meet Travis. I think that's the guy's name from Diamond City. And you can meet Three Dog from Galaxy News Network and, like, maybe have some missions with them. Uh, but you could actually at least see them, see what they look like. Uh... It's totally different here in 76, and as opposed to uh, Fallout New Vegas, where uh, Mr. New Vegas, uh, who the, you, you don't see him in the game either, uh, he doesn't have a lot of information about himself personally, but uh, Julie actually does. She talks about herself a lot. Uh, there's some information I'm going to get into here in a little bit on the wiki that kind of helps out a little bit. Um, so it's not like this person is, uh, you know, they don't really have like a part in this game. Uh, there's all this information for them, why not, uh, or sorry, there's all this information for them, so it, it makes me confused as to why they're not a part of the game, and it also makes me think that maybe Bethesda is saving her, or saving her story, maybe saving her missions for an update in the future, which I think would be a really cool idea, uh, but yeah, so I guess I'm, I'm really just kind of speculating here, nothing really too in particular I'm talking about, um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about some of the information from the Fallout Wiki about Julie, and then I'm going to go into some theories, and then uh, I'll probably wrap it up there. So what I'm going to do here is just talk about what this uh, page says about her. So um, through her stories that she tells, the information that we learn, some of like the actual information we learn, uh, obviously is that her name is Julie. Uh, she is 23 years old. Uh, she says that herself, and uh, she has a brother named Maddie, and uh, most likely a father and a mother, because she mentions going on like family uh, excursions, like camping and stuff like that. So the first thing we have here is Julie mentions being 23 years old and growing up in the wasteland with her parents and her brother Maddie. When she was a kid, she used to listen to Appalachia Radio alone or with her parents, enjoying musicians like Billie Holiday and songs like Crazy He Calls Me. The music from the radio helped her during, a difficult year, during the difficult years ahead in which she lost her friends and family. It kept her going on and reminded her of the good times. So uh, she does reveal that uh, her brother Maddie, well, not exactly, but she kind of alludes to the fact that her brother Maddie passed away. And given that fact, we can probably also assume uh, that since she's alone, her family uh, and her friends have died as well. So that uh, is accurate to uh, what I'm reading here on the wiki. Uh, that's really unfortunate. I mean, it, it, this is like, this isn't just somebody who, like, you know, is just like a minor character, and even though they have a story, it's not too fleshed out. Like, this girl lost everything, and she talks about how much the radio station means to her, how much she misses her family, so it's not like there's a lack of a story here, folks. Uh, the next part of this says, when Julie heard about people returning to Appalachia, she decided to join them in order to find Appalachia Radio to make sure it would still run for years to come. Leaving her family behind, she arrived at West Virginia not long after she managed to find the radio station. Seeing the state in which the devices were, which were about to break down and anything goes, was stuck in a loop. Julie made use of the tools she had and repaired them. Afterwards, she decided to become the radio's new DJ, not because the station was now in her possession, but because she hoped the people hearing its music and she taking care of the radio would be enough to give people hope, to make them smile, and to make them think about the ones they cared. So, uh, 
To be honest, it says here that uh, she moved away from her family, kind of as opposed to the previous paragraph, but I do think that something tragic happened to Julie. Uh, it really doesn't make sense after the, after the fucking apocalypse to just kind of be like, okay, I'm going to go pursue my dreams now. No. Logically, it does make sense to kind of stick with your family, and I guess given that sense, maybe she hasn't really traveled too far away from her family. She doesn't specifically say that her brother is dead, so maybe I'm wrong about that, but for the most part, I feel like she's really got nobody left all right the next paragraph here says in between songs julie speaks about her own life and family and music uh, and plays music that reminds her of her parents mentioning them beforehand so yeah she plays these songs as you guys know and she talks about well at least with some of them she'll talk about different memories she has from her life and how they relate to this songs uh or how they relate to these songs um yeah so that's the brunt of the information that I'm kind of taking uh, from this wiki, and it's really no different than the information that Julie tells us herself. So what we can assume from here is that Julie is a real person, and she is somewhere out there in the Appalachian region, uh, most likely at some kind of repurposed, or not repurposed, but a, a previous radio station that she has now, uh, you know, kind of fixed up and uh, made usable so that she can, uh, you know, promote this music to the, uh, well, to the uh, Appalachian region. There you go. Sorry, I'm a little distracted here. I'm trying to do some on-the-fly research and think about this. So... The Appalachian region of the United States encompasses states like Pennsylvania, West Virginia, a little bit of Alabama, some of Mississippi, some of Tennessee, a tad bit of Kentucky, as long or sorry, along with Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and parts of New York. Uh, currently, at this moment, I am living in uh, the Appalachian region of New York State. I'm not going to dox myself or tell you where I'm at. Uh, but yeah, that's where I am. So this is this kind of hits home a lot. I mean, when I walk outside, I'm literally seeing uh, Fallout 76. I mean, West Virginia, honestly, is only one state down from New York, so it's not too far off. Uh, just a little side note, but I thought that was kind of interesting. So what I'm thinking about is, since this is kind of a small area, now the Appalachian Trail, the Appalachian region, is very large in the grand scheme of things, but since this is, you know, kind of a small area, and I guess in the sense of Fallout 70, for the Fallout universe, since the maps are kind of like mushed together and, uh, minimized or amalgamized, I don't know how you want to say it, uh, it would make sense that, like, she could be in Tennessee or Virginia, and she could still be uh, broadcasting somewhere here in West Virginia, and that would explain why we don't find the Appalachia radio station here in West Virginia, because it's not West Virginia radio, it's Appalachia radio. So, that's one theory uh, on the table, that she is alive somewhere, just not in West Virginia, and we're getting the radio transmission from uh, somewhere far away. The next theory that I have, and this is going to be, uh, there's going to be one part of this theory that is going to be, uh, you know, versatile for a lot of them, and that is going to be, is Julie even a human? Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, there's all this information about her, she's got a family, obviously, obviously she has memories and she's alive, uh, but what if she could be a robot with uh, these memories and these stories and these pre-programmed, uh, you know, like phrases and stuff, uh, you know, perpetrated by some organization like the Brotherhood or the Enclave, uh, maybe specifically the Enclave, but if you really think about it... Uh, if you kind of like step back from the game a little bit, maybe think outside the box, you do hear the same phrases, the same stories, the same connections that she makes over and over and over again. Now, one side of this could say, well, that's just the game. Uh, they Maybe they didn't really want to have a, a new voice line for every single individual fucking day this game would be out. And yeah, that makes a lot of sense, and that's probably true. But you could also say that maybe they only, they had a lot, they do have a lot of voice lines for her, but maybe they had just enough that you wouldn't really notice that she was saying the same stuff over and over again. Now, with that out of the way, why would somebody be doing this? Well, they could be doing this to either manipulate, uh, take control of something, maybe there's some kind of subliminal messaging hidden in these, in these frequencies, something like that, and uh, maybe the Enclave is trying to mind control, maybe the Brotherhood is trying to uh, like seek out some kind of information, something like that. Maybe there's a whole other fucking whole other group of people out there. Maybe it's the Institute. Who knows? But it's just a theory. So uh, I guess the last thing I want to talk about 
about Julie, about Appalachia Radio, is what could possibly be happening in the future with this. So uh, there's a lot of information about this, as I've told you guys so far. Um, also, I want to say sorry for not moving the camera around too much. I've uh, kind of been distracted and interested talking about all this. But anyways... Where could we go with this? Uh, like I said before, there were missions for uh, Galaxy News Network and 3Dog. There were missions for Diamond City Radio and Travis. Uh, why shouldn't there be missions for Julie? Well, uh, I think I've said this before, maybe in my uh, Is Samuel a Spy video, but the... The title of Fallout 76 Expeditions is not exclusive to the pit. If you look at the title, like the visual logo, you'll understand that uh, Expeditions, and then there's like a, like, you know, a semicolon or whatever after it, and then it says the pit. So it looks like they are planning to do more Expeditions in the future. Uh, Bethesda is currently working on the next Elder Scrolls game. They're working on, what is it, like Skyfall, wherever the fuck that game is. Uh, they're working on a bunch of new ones, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, whatever. So the next Fallout game is probably going to be somewhere like, I want to say five years to a decade in the future, I would say. Uh, maybe a little less than that. So what they're probably planning on doing for the Fallout out universe within the next, uh, I would say, you know, anywhere from uh, two to four years is probably going to be doing more expeditions going to either new or previously visited locations within the Fallout series and uh, exploring new stories, maybe maybe uh, exploring like the foundations of how settlements were built in different places we've already been to, blah, blah, blah. But one of these could be going somewhere and finding Julie from Appalachia Radio. It would make sense with a new update. They can include new voice lines, new songs. She could be like, hey, thanks to blah, blah, blah for coming and visiting me and helping me out with this. Maybe there could be uh, a thing where we go and we uh, find new songs for her. Or maybe we update the radio station so there's new sounds. Or maybe she has new stories to tell. Something like that. Uh, I think this would be really, really, really fucking cool. And uh, honestly, uh, an idea just popped into my head. What if we could have her as an ally and she could broadcast from our camp? That would be cool as well. Uh, anyways, um, I've gone on to this video for... Sorry, I've been talking for a long fucking time. And if you made it this long, I really appreciate you sticking around. I wanted to get this topic out there. It is something that uh, almost nobody has really touched on. And uh, I really want people to know about this and start thinking about it. And uh, hopefully, if they do end up doing something with Julie in the future, uh, this video will be the first reference to it. And uh, I will have... Uh, I don't even know. I'll be the, the, the first bird to get the worm or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't know. But yeah, this was a video where I went over and uh, kind of talked about Julie from Appalachia Radio and why she is one of the biggest mysteries in Fallout 76. Uh, yeah, that's really all I have for you guys. Uh, be sure to leave uh, any ideas, any you know comments, whatever you want to say, connections in the comments below, and I'll leave you to do that. So... My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.